Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. My name is Emmy from Emmy Evolving. If this is your first time joining me, thank you for finding me. If this is not your first time, thank you for coming back. Right now, I'm going to be doing a Claire Tarot reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also for your cross watches. So my readings have no time specific. My readings are not time specific. <laughs> have no time specific. So th this can be applicable at any point. Whenever you find yourself watching this and resonating, that's probably when it's most appropriate. And there we go. So um, Virgo, I asked your collective energy what this reading was going to be about. And I was shown an attempt to hide you in a closet, which is fucking weird. It's just weird. That's a weird thing to do. Just take someone in a closet. That's weird. So let me just pull some cards, see what this is all about, and hopefully get you some clarity. I'm feeling like there's a lot of conflict um, probably focused on you right now. I don't know if, it, if it's become verbally, um, if you've been made aware yet. But uh, I sense a lot of conflict. Uh, you're rubbing people wrong. I don't think you're rubbing anyone wrong. I think people are just used to picking on you. All right. There we go. Where did I put it? Oh, there. One more card. All right. All right. Here we go, Virgo. So, let us see. So, card number 50 Saturn return age. It, you know, this imagery really makes me feel like it's annoying someone in your life that um, just doesn't like how heart centered you've become. It, the feeling that I get is it's become very difficult for them to rock you to affect the way you see yourself. And it's making them real pissy, real pissy. Um, let me see what other messages this comes with. So, okay. They always say time changes things, but you actually have to change them yourself. So this shatters, this card shatters all illusions. Whatever they had convinced you of before, it's being really, really, you know, like disintegrated at this point. And I think that's what's pissing them off. They can't mentally control you anymore emotionally manipulate you um it's become very difficult for them to do that this is also a card about rough passages but also a harvest you're now at a time when you understand things better than you did even a year ago um let's see if this card is drawn, you will not be given a pass and the matter in question will not progress as easily as you might want it to but more positively, this marks a time when things are solidified. So if you're trying to kind of like break away from a toxic connection, it's going to be difficult. It's definitely going to be challenging. But this is the perfect time for that to be allowed to kind of progress on its own. You have to hold your ground. You have to allow yourself to really take ownership of your thoughts and your feelings. Um, there might be a need for you to be willing to verbalize like, like, why are you acting this way? Do you realize that you're doing blah, blah, blah to me? And they're probably going to, you know, deny it. Like, what are you talking about? No, I'm not. Yes, you are, bitch. Yes, you are. And sometimes when you communicate with whoever this pissy person is, um, one of the most effective things you might be able to do is to simply 
repeat exactly what they said in a question form. So if they say, um, if they say like, oh, you never help out. So you're saying I never help out. Or whatever other example, but it, it, trust me, it works. I don't know how or why, but it works. It gets them to see um, how ridiculous their statements are. Okay. Uh, card number 35, change. It's time to change. It's time to allow the change. Use this as the kickboard, not a kickboard. Um, what is that? I don't know. This reminds me of when I used to take swimming classes as a child and they'd have me hold on to the um to the the lip of the pool, the edge of the pool and use that to kick off as I backstroke. So maybe it's time for you to do that. Virgo, this is so you. You know why? Because your ability to survive on your own is is being very much showcased and there there's your environment flying around you like the fucking seagulls of Finding Nemo talking about mine, 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 mine. You are not theirs, okay? You are not theirs to treat like caca. If they want to do that, no, you're not going to participate. Card number 14, going beyond normal, okay? Um, the key is in how you communicate this. You've spent too much time locked away in your own thoughts, so many layers and levels of you trying to hold it together. That time is done. Okay. That time is done. You need to begin communicating effectively, whatever it is you've been pondering for so long. Um, and this is not, you're not just arguing with people. You're not just trying to have some sort of uh, passionate conversation to get people to agree with you that you deserve respect. Whatever level of respect you feel you deserve, that's what it is. And if they don't understand, you walk away. Bottom line. Bottom line. Because when you try and convince someone that they're not respecting you enough and they're not agreeing and they're continuing to argue and disagree, it's like you're trying to um, negotiate. There is no negotiating. I do not negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> I don't. You don't agree with my worth? Keep walking. No big deal. Keep walking. You don't have to stay here. You don't have to um, continue to associate with me. You don't feel I'm worth it? Keep walking. There's other people who you can connect with that will agree with whatever you decide regarding their worth. For me, I set my own worth. I set my own value. And if you don't agree, just like at Walmart, you don't like the price? Keep walking. Buy it somewhere else. Bottom line. Virgo, you have to really pull this in because it's it's a sense I'm being given that um, too much, too much, you allow people to convince you to negotiate your worth, to negotiate how you should be treated. No. And then they try and shame you with this whole like, oh, it's because you're a control freak. No, it's because you're an asshole. It's because you're an asshole. I have a problem with your assholeish behavior. It's not because I'm trying to control you. And maybe you need to tell them that. Maybe. So card number 24, Pisces, I believe. This is your sister sign. Y'all are my siblings. Pisces, I believe. You have to believe in yourself. I must be a mermaid. I have no fear of depth and a great fear of shallow living. In faith and trust, you must surrender to what is. Um, Let's see. So you you already know things deep down, but have trouble sorting matters out. You sense things deeply, except for certain things extremely bad for them, which turn into mishaps and disasters. So it's like you're pulling in this aspect of Pisces where um, the more elevated the threat for Pisces, and, and I know Pisces does this quite a bit. <laughs> the more they're oblivious to it. Don't. It's not about you being a control freak. People will always say that to you. 
And the people who say that to you are the people who are upset because they can't control you because you're so good at ducking and dodging it. They don't like it. That's the real problem. They are the ones with a control issue and they're attempting to dominate you and they can't actually quite do it. So they try and shame you into compliance. This is about self-love. Card number six, six being the number of receiving. Two plus four is six, six being the number of receiving. So this is about self-love. Allow yourself to receive the love from the people who actually love you. Not the people who claim to love you, but shame you for being who you are. The people who say they love you, but you have to negotiate your value. All of that is BS. You do not have to negotiate your worth. All right. You do not have to negotiate your worth. So card number 19, dream a beautiful dream. Allow yourself to be the epicenter of something beautiful. You have the ability to cultivate your environment. When you continuously um, uh, look for things outside of yourself to validate you, look for things outside of yourself to project blame onto, um, you're not creating a beautiful life for yourself. Okay? You're not. You're not. I don't have a perfect life. But it's a damn beautiful life because of the fact that I choose to consciously make it beautiful. Okay. So let's see. Um, first house, the body. Card number 25. First house, the body. It's time for you to really, you know, allow yourself to take care of yourself. Virgo can be very much about keeping order for their whole family and deplete themselves. Now is not the time for depletion, okay? Don't allow yourself to be depleted. Really take care of yourself. Cater to your needs. Allow yourself to rest. Allow yourself to let go of the things that need to be let go. Um, sometimes you just got to let go. Sometimes things can't be fixed. Oh my God. <laughs> I took a fat nap earlier too. Card number 24, protection. You need to just curl up into a ball for a little bit, Virgo. You, you, you need to allow yourself to rest, okay? Allow yourself to be home resting and just really going deep into yourself, allowing that dark night of the soul to rise up and give clarity more gravity, a, a deeper understanding and appreciation for your light. Your light has been allowed to become very dim, but in the darkness, even a dim light can, can glow very brightly. All right? Let yourself experience that. I think you really need to. Card number 15, big, bold vision. Have a big, bold vision about where you want to be. Be in a couple months. Be in a couple years. Um, I really get a sense that Virgo is very much about obligation and you haven't freed yourself, given yourself permission to actually be present in your life. It's like you go from one task to another, to another, to another. And the sense that I get is for many of you, the task isn't even for yourself. It's for someone else. It's for someone else. And you can't, you can't do that indefinitely. You've done it for as long as you need to. And now is the time for you to shift the way you exist. Shift the kind of relationships you have with other people. It's time to become more healthy in the way you treat your body. And people might think that, oh, well, you know, it's not a big deal because, you know, it's just a little thing that I'm doing. I'm just helping a little bit. But every time you overwork yourself, you make yourself more susceptible to um, to illness, okay? You make yourself so much more susceptible to illness. So you have to make sure you get rest. You have to make sure you allow yourself to have time to process your thoughts, process your life, really just be fully present, okay? Be fully present in your life. <clears throat> Um, let's see. 
I'm just going to get you guys another card. Let's do some animals. Let's get real crazy with it. Let's do animals. <laughs> One second. Okay. Yeah, if you're go, 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 and I'm usually go, go, go as well, until I saw this, um, it came across, uh, I think it was my Insta, I don't know, it came across somewhere online, but it was talking about sometimes we have to recognize that when you live a life that's constantly busy, that can oftentimes be an indicator that you're avoiding the processing of the events of your life, okay? That's just odd. If you cut yourself busy your whole life, you might be avoiding the very things you need to work on within yourself. And if you consistently have issues with other people, um, there's a likelihood those issues are nothing more than an external projection of an internal circumstance that continues to be ignored. So you have to make sure you, you tap into that. Make sure you understand what it is you're needing to address. Okay, so we have... Uh, there we go. We have the tarantula at a crossroad claiming life's purpose. So if you hesitate and over-intellectualize, um, your, your energy is imbalanced, okay, Virgo? You need to allow yourself to come back into balance, come back into balance. Um, in order to find true happiness, you must choose Dharma. Until you do, satisfaction will be fleeting. Um, and Dharma is life's deeper purpose. So you have to find what your deeper purpose is. You have to begin really, really quieting your monkey mind and just allowing the thoughts to flow. So let's see. No. Do, do, do. All right. Your next card is the crow, spiritually strong, creative, and watchful. Um, you want to try and get to a place where you feel strong and you feel, feel clear. Okay. If you have a lot of, um, a lot of like busy thoughts, like your thoughts are constantly racing, constantly racing, you can't finish the thought you jump to a next one that's not a good sign you definitely have to retrain yourself back onto the first thought refocus allow yourself to go back to what you were thinking at first right now is a very critical time for everyone because of the fact that we're being afforded a very rare opportunity to see opportunity opportunity to see a transition period taking place okay there's been several transition periods um, throughout the history of humanity and it's been quite a long time since we've experienced another transition to this level and so as we're being immersed in transitional energies each of us internally are experiencing a purging and transition as well so you have to make sure you utilize this and allow it to lift you to your highest potentiality. It's a perfect time to do that, to gain full clarity on the events of your life, the connections you have with people. Um, for some of us who are working at elevated levels already, uh, it has a lot to do with also previous life um, connections. So we have to really make sure we take advantage of this time. Yeah, it's a little bit scary just because, you know, there's so many unknown factors, but it's going to be done one way or another. It's going to be done. So in this time, focus on your growth. 
really focus on your growth, really, really allow yourself to like recognize, how did I co-create this with someone else? What was my part in the creation of this imbalance? Because it, it can't just be one person. I've had so many people try and start shit with me, but because I don't participate, nothing can come of it. So it takes two, at the very least, two. If you recognize how you co-created that, and sometimes the co-creation comes from your need to go out and like explain yourself, to set the record straight. You know, the people who hear the shit talking that's being done, because I feel like someone's talking shit about you, for some of you. Um, the people who are listening to others talking shit about you and believing it without coming to you and asking like, what the fuck's going on? Uh, those are the people who were just looking for, for reasons to justify their unfair condemnation of you. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. So you're trying to convince people who were looking for a reason to think this about you to begin with. How's that going to help you? How does that grow you? It doesn't. It doesn't. It really, really does it. I once had someone who was spreading ugly stuff about person number two. Person number one was spreading ugly stuff about person number two. Person number three was talking to me at, at, at an event. I was like, hey, did you hear what number two did to number one? And all I said to number three was, well, you know number two. Is that something that you think that number two would do to number one? Does that make sense? And number three was like, actually, no, you're right. No, they're not like that. And I said, well, there you go. There you go. Leave it between the two of them. You know, don't, don't involve yourself. Leave it between the two of them because we don't really know what's going on. We really don't know what's going on. Like for me, if someone talks shit about you to me, I'm going to be like, hey, um, I've been hearing some stuff. Everything okay? Cause I don't, I don't know what's going on. But someone said felt the need to come tell me something for I don't know what. I don't know how I'm involved. But do we need to have a conversation? Like I'm not really sure what's going on. I kind of want to hear straight from you. And that's just kind of how I am. Like if if I'm gonna really entertain the shit talking that's being done, I'm gonna go straight to the person you're talking shit about. Hey, I heard some shit. <laughs> Can you help me wrap my mind around this shit that I heard? <laughs> because I really don't want to be part of this like behind the scenes shit talking. I'm going to go directly to you. So if you really want to be a part of it, go directly to the person. But I don't think you should be a part of it. To be honest, I feel like a lot of just nonsensical drama has been going on for a lot of people. Like a lot of people. Because everyone's bored with their mundane ass nine to five, uh, not wanting to spend time with their families. And, you know, everyone's just kept so busy that they haven't allowed themselves to have an opportunity to actually cultivate a life for themselves. It's actually very sad what we've allowed ourselves to um, participate in. That's why this time is so beautiful because now. We can reset the way we see, the way we think, what we choose to um, give consent for. So you also have the mouse, um, detail-oriented, small-minded, nitpicky, and nervous. See, when out of balance, Virgo, your energy is like mouse energy. And when out of balance, it's busy with no purpose. You have to find a purpose for whatever it is you're trying to do, okay? To bring it into a balance, you have to find a meaningful project. When in balance, you're organized, resourceful, prepared. Um, organized, resourceful, prepared. So when people are choosing to create some sort of pathology for your, your strengths, Virgo, they'll see your organization as um, neat freak, control freak, resourcefulness. They'll see that as, um, oh, you, you use people. You're a manipulator. You're a user. When you're prepared, oh, because you're paranoid. No, none of those. No, you're organized, resourceful, and prepared. And this is why they, they talk all this shit about you, Virgo, but the moment something 
goes wrong in their life for their project, who's the first person they call? Who's the first person they're asking to help fix things? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So unless it serves their purpose, it's it's a crippling disability, right? But the moment they need something, oh, you're so strong. You're so organized. You can get things done. Uh-huh. I remember what the fuck he said last week. <laughs> I'm a little salty today. <laughs> you might not want to listen to me because <laughs> I really will say that. Uh -huh. All of a sudden, you want my help, huh? I don't know what the fuck you said about me. You didn't think it reached me, did you? <laughs> but it did. It did. Oh, ain't that some fucked up shit for you now? <laughs> oh, that's just too fucking bad, huh? <laughs> I've said that before. I've said that before. Oh, you were talking all this shit, huh? I make up demons and this and that. It's, I'm just fear mongering. I'm selling fear. Oh, now you got a demon. You calling me. You're the strongest person I know. No, motherfucker. No, I don't think so. And it's not my ego. I know you're being used as a Trojan. I don't think so. I don't think so. You're not going to take advantage of my excessive compassion for other people. And that's what you have to get to, um, Virgo. You have to get to that point where you allow yourself to recognize when people are trying to take advantage of you, exploit you, and they're just going to toss you to the site anyways. You know, granted, you're not supposed to help people um, for recognition because you're going to hold it over their head forever. And now they're in your pocket because you help them. No, but if you know, if you're consciously aware that they're just using you, that's a waste of your energy, okay? You can totally use that energy to assist someone who actually needs your help, who's not going to treat you like shit afterwards. So here we go. Black dragon from Saturn brings you wisdom through spiritual discipline. Concentrate. Focus on your ultimate vision. Congratulate yourself. You've passed a test. There you go. You need to focus on what your purpose is in this moment. Our purpose is not singular. All right. Our purpose, purpose is not singular. We have multiple purposes in life, multiple layers and levels of purposes, ways those purposes are to be expressed, ways those purposes are supposed to be fulfilled. And that happens in different times of your life. Just because you found in this moment your purpose is to assist people with, um, I don't know, with domestic violence, it doesn't mean that's your only purpose in life. Sometimes it's going to shift and um, instead become something else. And you have to be uh, open and fully present to allow that shift to occur. So for many of us, we identified our purpose as one thing a while ago, and that that promise to soul and creation has been fulfilled and now we're shifting to a different purpose so allow that okay rose pink dragon rose pink dragon prepares your heart to connect with the higher facets of the cosmic heart open your heart to warm-hearted love and diamond light connect with the love of the universe Open your heart to receive, Virgo, all right? Definitely open your heart to receive. Don't allow yourself to be um, distracted and manipulated into allowing other people to dictate how you should feel, how you should act. Oftentimes, and I, I see this quite a bit, and I have a very high tendency to remove it from my presence without explanation or anything. But I will share this. When I notice someone um, very is nonchalant about, you know, vomiting all this negativity, all this negativity, all this negativity, you have to kind of question that. Sometimes it's because they have no one to talk to. Sometimes it's because you're being primed, you're being gaslit to react in a certain way. Because guess what? Especially when this happens in a public forum, when someone speaks of really horrible things, there is this societal sense of obligation to comfort. Oh, 
it's okay. Oh, I'm so sorry this happened to you. I'm so sorry that happened to you. And people will offer um, suggestions that empower, suggestions that help to calm the fear, calm the frustration. And if that person just continues to vomit how, oh, this horrible happened to me, this horrible happened to me, someone did this, someone did that, this person this, this person that, then you have to kind of like, okay, so what's really going on here? Are you are you looking for um, a group who can help you stabilize your feelings, help you gain get greater clarity about your journey? Or are you just looking to continue the perpetuation of that? You're looking for new people to vent to. And in that venting, it's a release that's occurring. You know, it's an energy exchange that's occurring. Okay, I want you guys to really, really take note of this. It is an energy exchange that occurs when someone vents they're releasing negative and once they release the negative it creates a void within their field creation does not support the existence of void so naturally it will allow that void to be filled by the nearest thing possible and if you're there listening as an empath when you hear someone is struggling and you feel badly for them, you're thinning your shields to receive the information and you're preparing to send love out, right? Well, there you go. You've just been drained. Your energy now filled that void. You've just been fed off of. Crazy shit, huh? And here you thought it was just someone that was having a hard time in life and needing, you know, needing a shoulder. It's crazy shit. Very subtle work. It's very, very subtle work. And I'm not saying the individual um, is consciously doing it because more times than not, uh, they have no idea that they're doing this. None. No idea. So you have to be aware of these types of things. You have to protect your energy, especially in the times that we're existing in right now. You have to make sure you always protect your energy. Protect yourself. And it's not that you have to be paranoid. Um, and it's not necessarily that paranoia is a bad thing. It's when that paranoia is is taking over and now you don't want to connect with anyone ever. Um, that's not serving you either. But paranoia can definitely keep you from experiencing unnecessary struggle and bullshit. Unnecessary feeding from your energy. It's and You don't have to explain yourself. You don't. When you recognize that someone is actively feeding off of you and your empathy, do you have to explain that? No, because guess what? You just gave them a platform from which to launch an even deeper feeding. So, no, you just got to go. I do not allow that in my, my environment. Um, yeah, no, I don't allow that in my environment. Okay. Um, good. That's a simple statement. I'm not allowing you to affect my energy. When you can discuss with me, have a civilized conversation, um, we can discuss it. But if all you want to do is argue and you're not even hearing what I'm saying, contributing to this exchange, then no, it's not going to continue. And that's a very powerful stance. Very, very powerful. Pure white dragon from Orion transforms your ascension knowledge into pure wisdom. Process what you know. Act with truth and honesty. Let your wings of light grow and expand. So allow yourself to grow and expand. You're entering a phase where your wisdom is really being allowed to blossom. Really, really being allowed to blossom. Okay, this is a beautiful period for everyone. It's just a matter of are you going to allow yourself to recognize this period for what it is? It's a transition. We're transitioning into a higher um, state of consciousness. You know, so many people have been talking about we need to ascend, we need to ascend, we need to ascend. We don't ascend without a price. Okay. And it's not like how religions 
you have to pay a price in order to be a part of it. No, it's an energetic exchange. In order for us to be able to level up, we need to be able to raise our frequency. In order for us to raise our frequency, we first need to purge from our auric field, our consciousness, our emotions, our actual environment, the very things that have kept us so heavy, so dense, the connections that are dense. And as we do this, we go ahead and are assisted through our experience of trauma. And it, it's not that you have to be traumatized to comply. That's religious trauma, okay? This type of trauma-induced accretion, which is what I'm talking about, trauma-induced accretion, this prepares you because it's just like the fight-or-flight response in the human body. When you sense impending trauma, your spiritual self will then begin to accrete extremely high frequencies. It's just like the release of a spiritual adrenaline. And as you're rising and you experience this trauma-induced accretion, and you accrete extremely high frequencies to prepare you, because it's like, I got to fight or I got to run. I don't know which one is going to be. So everything's surging, 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 and then boop, you're at the next level and you can calm down. It's not necessarily that horrible, horrible things are going to happen to you. Sometimes it's just being aware that there are atrocious things happening in this world. Sometimes it's being triggered by the people in our environment. Sometimes it's events that happen to us and it's kind of weird, like that was just a freak accident. What the heck was that about? Am I being punished? No, your higher self allowed for something to happen, to be experienced, so that you can accrete high frequency. Has nothing to do with fear, has nothing to do with control, and everything to do with assisting you, facilitating the expansion of your consciousness. So Virgo, you're being primed to expand your consciousness, and it's up to you whether you're going to allow that process or not. If you're gonna fight it, you're not fighting anyone but yourself. So if you're fighting yourself because of that, you will always lose. If yourself is fighting yourself, no matter which self wins, it's still yourself. So you will always lose. <laughs> See that? You will always lose. <laughs> uh, oh, God. So, yeah. Um, now is the time for you to really begin choosing what it is you want to focus on. Um, and whatever you focus on is what you're going to grow first. Whatever you focus on is what will have the frequency, the energy that you're accreting. The accelerated accretion, that's where your higher self will divert that energy to. So if you're focused on um, getting physically healthy about your physical health, uh, then that's probably what your higher self is going to focus on. You're going to notice changes in the, the things you want to eat and your desire to move around more and, and, you know, exercise and have a more active lifestyle and all this and all of that. If your focus is on repairing whatever wounds you sustain from a um, abusive uh, relationship, then that's probably where your energy is going to go. And you're going to begin really contemplating all, all these things that um, you allowed yourself to be convinced was your fault, knowing you didn't do anything. It's not your fault. You know, you were being manipulated and abused. And for some of us, you know, it's something completely different. It's something completely different. Okay. Um, you definitely have to let yourself experience this part of your journey in whatever way you're supposed to just whatever way you're supposed to trust yourself to provide for yourself the life experiences and connections that you need to level up in a very smooth very accelerated manner we're all leveling up every single last one of us not just a particular sign not just a particular ethnicity not just a particular region this is a global leveling up, expansion of consciousness, a triggering of our desire to demand truth, 
Okay. So this is going to be an interesting um, time. I don't know how long it's going to be. It's going to be an interesting time, though. Definitely hoping that everyone gets through this with their sanity intact. I'm pretty sure. Even if you lose your mind for a little bit, it'll come back. <laughs> it'll come back. Okay? It'll come back. So, you guys, please just give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Turn on that notification bell. Join me every single time I'm live. Bye, guys.